this one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's cool. I love it. Thank you. Kind of nervous. No, don't be nervous. I don't know why I'm nervous either. Are you filming right now? Mm-hmm. Okay. Wait, are you filming right now? Mm -hmm. Oh. Hey. <laughs> My heart's like racing right now, I don't know why. <laughs> I'll try, I'll try. I'll try to be serious, it's not funny. I just it's like, I haven't see. looked at this. In five years? Yeah. I'm ready, I'm turning the volume up. This is so weird. Okay, degusting. What are those shoes? And those jeans, I loved those jeans for no reason. Um, well, sometimes I'm scared that I'm like kind of like overly fat and that's what I'm like, I'm like overly skinny. It just depends on like the month. And then my face, I just don't think it's cute. <laughs> oh my God. I actually, that's crazy that I was so much more insecure than I am now though. I guess I just, like, when I look at myself, like, I don't necessarily look like the rest of the people that I know. Like, I don't have, like, the flat stomach that everyone has. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. Like, it just, it just is, like, crazy that I was, like, so upset about it when this was probably, like, the height of, like, how in shape I was and everything. And I was just so, like, in my head trying to, like, put myself down. Um, I'm insecure about mostly everything. Mm. About my body. First of all, I feel like I'm crying. <laughs> That's really sad. My hair looks really good though. <laughs> oh my God, that's me. I look so different. Um, I'd say it's definitely like the media um, and the fashion industry because they're all, you know, really tall and really thin. There's nothing wrong with that. But that's like the only thing that they're seeing. So they're being, it's kind of being fed to them. Like that's the only way that you're supposed to look. If I could change something about the way I look, I would change. Probably my nose. Because like I've always been told like I had a big nose and like I used to be bullied about it. Not anymore, but like I'd still rather change it. Um, yeah, my nose was definitely always a big, a big thing for me. And it's kind of a good feeling to know that I don't want a nose job anymore. I have grown into it. I like it now, but I know how bad, like, that used to hurt me. Like, I used to hate pictures. I'd hate looking in the mirror because I just thought my nose was just huge. So I definitely know where she was coming from. I'm insecure about... Okay, it's kind of a lot of things. Um, the shape of my face, like I feel like I have a really like chubby face, and I'm like really short, and I have big legs. Yeah, hmm, that was a lot. <laughs> um, I feel like in high school I was very insecure, and I still like go through phases of like insecurity I think everyone does but I just remember like I don't know putting so much value in the way that I looked in high school and I feel like in the video I was trying to I kind of was like putting up a front like I didn't want to be vulnerable I guess um thinking back on my like 2017 self how would I describe myself probably as insecure not very happy and um, unsure, I guess that's probably the word I'm thinking of. I think that girl was really, really sad and she was really miserable. I definitely struggled 
a little bit in high school with an eating disorder. So in my head, it was called the Chloe diet, which is just like split all your meals in half. I would sometimes eat dinner, just depends. But it, yeah, I lost a lot of weight, but I also lost a lot of hair. My eyebrows were falling out. I just, I was a mess. And also I think something that's a little bit tough about living in a sorority house is you are in very close quarters to everybody's eating habits and fitness routines. You see when someone goes for a run, you see when someone makes a salad, you see everything. So usually that's fine, but sometimes it's a little annoying. When I was going through these formative years, I would look at my sister for her beauty standard and like compare her body types. And that was, I guess, hard growing up because she, my sister had like a completely different body shape than I did. And so I felt like that was like, why does my body look like her? So that just puts a lot of insecurity because that's coming from within versus like comparing to a social media. Social media, I will say, still affects me. But like most of the time, that's fake. All the time, it's fake. and like Photoshop and everything. Like I have tried to Photoshop pictures of myself and I don't know how to do it right, so it doesn't look very good, but. Yeah, I used to edit my pictures all the time. I can go, I can probably go on my phone. Okay, there. Like caught in 4K, edited my pictures in middle school. I edited my butt. Then it makes you feel worse because that's not actually what you look like and you know that that's not what you look like. So then you try to look like something that you've created and you, in reality, like you, you won't look, you'll never look like that because you made it on a computer. But I just remember like taking pictures on the beach and just, first of all, comparing myself with the girls there. And um, I was like, before you post that, like please send it to me so I can like make myself look better really. And what I mean by that is I like made my stomach look flatter. And it's sad because that's not authentic at all. It's not fun to look around at everyone and be like, oh my God, her hair is so cute. Her eyes are so pretty. I think all those things, but it's not fun to think all those things and wish them upon you. And there's so many other things that drain you in college about like moving away and being in like a new place that like I just didn't have time for that anymore is like my best explanation. Like that felt very low priority of things I wanted to worry about. A big part of like being able to realize what you find beautiful about yourself is like not comparing what's beautiful about you to what's beautiful about other people, if that makes sense. Like, just because someone else is beautiful doesn't mean that you're not, right? Being biracial, you really don't know where you fit in or what beauty standard to even look at. Cause like in middle school, I definitely was like, I want my hair straight, I want blue eyes, I want to be white. And then I gradually went to like, I don't know what I want. Then you never know where your friends go. And it's just, it's just hard in itself. But definitely when it comes to looks, I've tried to just look at myself and look at me for me because there is nobody out there that I can really compare myself to. Cause especially, being mixed, everybody looks different. In high school, I thought my beauty and my worth came from like what other people said about me. Like the fact in high school that like, I didn't like, no guys liked me. I thought like, therefore I was not pretty, but that's not what makes me pretty. Like what makes me pretty is because God created me. And like, he says that I'm beautiful and he says that I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. And he literally, literally molded me with his hand. So I'm a fingerprint of God. Like, that's what makes me beautiful. Being beautiful in the eyes of man doesn't make me beautiful. You see these pictures of these girls who are with these guys, and then you're like, well, why don't I look like that to be, or like, do I have to look like that to have a boyfriend? I don't know. Like, I was very convinced that people wouldn't date me because I didn't look a certain way. But now, I don't, like now, Okay, hey, not to toot my own horn, <laughs> but like, I do think I'm attractive and I do think that someone would definitely date me, but um, my standards are extremely high because I'm not gonna settle for anything. I think the biggest growth that I've had is just, I do compare myself to how I used to feel and how I used to look like. So I think my beauty standard is knowing that I was so miserable in the body that I used to be in. And now that body has changed but I'd say now I sort of, I value being strong. I don't go to the gym to look like a certain person. I think it's just more of like being better than I was the day before, being better than I was a year ago, being better than I was five years ago. My confidence in myself has just like skyrocketed. Being around, definitely like my parents and my mom, the way she talks to me.
Um, <laughs> um, okay, I'm not actually sad. I'm just grateful. Um, she just tells me I'm the cutest person ever. And I definitely have like, that's sort of like how I talk to myself now. Like if I'm feeling bad, I'm like, I'm still cute. What I hope I can continue to grow in is that when I see someone on social media that is skinnier than me or whatever is stronger than me that I see them and I am like cheering them on, like I'm joyful for them. Like I don't compare them to me because we're two different people, like we don't need to be similar. If you could say anything to that girl five years ago, what would you tell her? Um, I would tell her that she is beautiful and she is worthy of everything that was coming to her. Like, just from being bullied in like elementary school, it's like having to deal with that all the way up until like two or three years ago. It's like, it's been such a journey and it's hard. It's been like really, really hard, but it's like, I'm just lucky to be where I am today. Um, I wish I knew then that my self-worth was not in how I looked and it didn't need to be validated by anyone but myself. I, I was pretty, you know, like, I don't, I don't know why I said all of that. Like, I was pretty, I still am. And I would just, I guess I would tell myself that because it means a lot more hearing it from yourself. Well, we had formal the other night and I got this dress, you know, did my hair. And I remember texting my mom and I was like, I think this is probably the prettiest I've ever felt. And I just felt so good. And I think that five years ago, if you would have told me that I would feel about myself that the way that I feel now, I feel like that would make me feel really good. Um, and my friends, I mean, friends like you and Jeremy and everybody else. Like, I feel like we all kind of like talk each other up, you know? Like if you're having a bad day, I'm like, oh, but you're so cute. Everyone is beautiful. And cute.